Hi there, this is Luise Heinzel. Welcome to my channel Junk Journal Art. Today I would like to create a page in my Junk Journal calendar. So here it is. This is a calendar that has 12 signatures, so one for each month. And on the front page of each signature I have some room for playing, for collaging, for doing what I want. So I would like to create this page today and perhaps you would like to join me. So, um, because of the fact that this junk journal calendar is really thick, I decided to create my piece um, yeah, out of this journal and then later on I will glue it to the page. What you can see here is a jelly print that I made um, yeah, by accident, I think, because I used this, this paper to clean my jelly plate. So what you can see here is white acrylic paint with some leftover paint in green and beige and that stuff. The second paper that I have here comes from the wonderful Barbara, so from her shop, um, yeah, I think you know her, she's 49 Dragonflies on YouTube and she has a shop um, for digital printable papers and this here is yeah, a piece that I shrank down a little bit, so normally it's meant to print it to an A4 page, but I needed it a little bit smaller here, so I printed four pages of this printable to one paper sheet. I think that's a really cool thing about digital paper, so you can always um, yeah, take the measurements that you would like and shrink it down a little bit and use those for journaling cards or for tags or some kind of stuff, or even for a background like this. I glued this paper with mud medium. I just applied it with my finger here to the back side. So um, I think mud medium is a really good thing to glue because um, in this case I have acrylic paint on the other piece of paper so that I can make sure that this will stick really well. And also mud medium is a thing that dries really quickly. I wouldn't recommend to use a normal glue stick to glue a paper to a jelly print because, yeah, you know, the surface of acrylic paint is really, uh, yeah, special. I <laughs> don't know how to explain that in English, but um, I think if you use a normal glue stick, um, it can happen that this thing comes off with the time. So I want to go the safe way and make it, yeah, so that it can stay there forever. I think this, this uh, watercolor background that Barbara created uh, looks really nice with this greens and beige and even with this white on the um, paper that's underneath and um, I was really happy, <laughs> even if it's not finished yet, but I was really happy that I had this um, piece of paper here from Barbara, Barbara's shop. Um, and then I decided that I want to write the word March, so in um, German This means März, so normally you would expect that I write März and not March, because March is English and my mother language is German. But, as you perhaps know, I'm a little bit between those both languages, so that means between English and German. I want to um, have my uh, subscribers and my followers um, to understand me, of course, so I try my best to give you my content also in English. And for me, that's a really hard thing because, yeah, as you know, it's not my mother language and it's hard for me to do this, but I want to practice it and I want to have the English language as a daily practice in my life. So I decided to write March here. Um, yeah, so um, these little things here are some book page scraps. And those book pages I used uh, with my die cut machine before I made th uh, some die cuts. So some of those flowers, as you can see on the left uh, top corner there in the video screen. And um, those are the negatives of these things. And um, I was really happy that I haven't thrown them away because I think this is some kind of alternative paper scrap. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this the same like me, but I think that looks really interesting when those little slots and gaps are in this um, paper scrap. If you don't have such a special paper scrap and you would like to imitate this, what I'm doing here, of course you can also take a normal paper scrap, some scissors and then um, cut this little pattern that you have also such little leaves there in your paper. 
I also glued this here down with mud medium because I want to have everything really flat and really sturdy and durable on this page. Especially because it's a calendar mm, that this will go in later and I use this calendar every day. And when I write on the other side of this page and I have to go over this page with my arm, for example, because, uh, yeah, my arm has to go somewhere when I'm writing, <laughs> then um, I don't want to lose my scraps there or destroy my page. That thing here, what I have here now, is some baking paper. Um, perhaps you know from my other videos that I tried out to make this leather paper, so this faux leather paper. And for that I used some baking paper and this is only a leftover of this thing. And I wanted to try on this piece if it's possible to use um, this paper as um, collage material as well. Especially um, with some book pages with this writing underneath. So. I wanted to try what happens when I um, glue the baking paper to this book page and I wanted to know if I can see the writing for, from the book page through this paper. Because yeah, that gives me the opportunity to try this leather paper thing, so this faux leather paper, um, perhaps with some book pages underneath as well. So this was yeah, some kind of little experiment for myself. And I think that looks really nice because, yeah, not only because it makes it some kind of calmer, more, it's more calm, it's more, a little bit vintage. Um, and it's also really nice because it looks some like some kind of this washy paper that you can stick somewhere. So, yeah, don't know if you know what I mean. hope that makes sense. Then I had this, yeah, some kind of uh, booklet with those stickers in it. So on the first glance, it looks like a, a normal booklet, but <laughs> this is sticker paper. And as you can see, you can just um, tear those little elements out here and then use them on your page. I think that's a really cool thing because all those stickers are in one place when you have such a little booklet and you can take out of it what you want. Um, it was a really happy accident that all those elements in this little booklet are green because for the month of March I'm planning something special um, and that has to be green. <laughs> so let me try to explain that while I'm gluing those things here. Um, as you perhaps know, normally when I do my craft things, I'm in my, my caravan. So I have a caravan and a little, some kind of tiny house in front of it. So this caravan is a part of this tiny house and that's the place where I normally do my craft things. And in the winter month, I have a second home where I don't have all my craft supplies and in the summer, I'm going back to my caravan. And the month of March will be the month where I'm creating a new craft area for myself. And I'm really excited and I'm so happy that I have the opportunity to do that. Because, because um, in the past I had everything inside the caravan itself. And that's a really small space. My bedroom is also in the caravan and I had not so much spa space. Nearly no light and really yeah small space to store my things and now i have uh, removed my couch so is that an english word so sofa perhaps so this big thing where you sit on when you watch tv so <laughs> hopefully you know what i mean so i had the big big luck that i could remove this thing out of uh, the place where it was normally and that will be the place where my new craft area will, uh, yeah, where I will build my new craft area. And in this craft area, I have all those colors that are on this page and especially green. So my favorite color is green. And I decided if I want to have a new room, I yeah, want to have my favorite color in it. So I've chosen many things. Um, that have this green color and that match each other. And 
yeah, for example, the boxes where I store my paper, um, they are green and I have some white shelves and also um, a beige, yeah, uh, some kind of cupboard where I want to store my tiny things. And so all the um, colors that will be in my craft room that I will create in the future are here on this page. And yeah, <laughs> I wanted to celebrate this excitement about this new step in my crafty life a little bit by creating this page. Hope that makes sense. Um, if you want to imitate this and you would like to have um, perhaps some kind of... Um, color palette on your page as well of course you can um, do what you like so perhaps you need a birthday card or you need some kind of greeting card for a special person or some kind of that stuff um, then of course you can change this whole thing and use shades of red or perhaps you make a card for a 14 year old girl then you can use shades of pink of course um i think those sticker booklets are a really great thing for this. Mm, I got this one in a happy mail, as I said, so I don't know where the person who sent it to me uh, bought it from, so I can't tell you where those stickers come from. But um, I think you can also do this with washi tape, so um, if you don't have such stickers, I mean. Um, so especially when you buy those washi tapes on AliExpress or Wish or even on Amazon, sometimes you can find those packages where you have washi tapes in um, one color palette so that the washi tapes match each other. And of course, you can also um, tear some of those elements from a roll of washi tape and make this color palette thing, collage thing. You know what I mean. Mm, yeah, <laughs> so here um, that was a happy accident as well that this says green and um, yeah, I thought it was some kind of funny when I write uh, or not, I, I have not written it. So when it's written there on this tape, this word, um, even if you can see that everything is green. So uh, yeah, that was a little joke for myself when I glued this word green. Then I also have this little uh, ticket here. And as you can see, uh, I glued all those element, elements with uh, things, matte medium, <laughs> sorry, um, because this sticker paper is yeah nearly the same material as washi tape. And perhaps you know that, that washi tape doesn't stick such good on those normal paper sheets. And... Um, it can happen that it comes off of your page with the time. So I decided to go the safe way and put some glue underneath. This step you could also do with a normal glue stick. On this paper scrap, I uh, wrote or I wanted to write new craft room loading. So as a little joke as well. And um, I was really happy that I wrote it to this paper scrap because uh, the first try as you can see um, is a little bit too wide um, I always I'm always struggling with the measurements of my handwriting so yeah <laughs> I was happy that I um, wrote it to this paper scrap not only because the contrast of the paper in the background is a little bit bigger but also because I don't want it to destroy my page by writing on it and um, I made this paper scrap the same width as the word March is to make it look a little bit more harmonical in the middle. So this writing that I'm uh, making here is some, some kind of focal point. I want the eye to go directly to this writing so that you read this first and then the eye can go around this whole thing and look at the scraps and the collage. So because of this, I tried to get this in the, th in the same width and also this element that I'm drawing now um, has the same width as the writing uh, on top. I hope that makes sense. Perhaps for the eye, it's a little bit easier um, to come to such a page 
when everything is a little bit, yeah, some kind of an order or, or some, something like that. This little thing here is supposed to be um, this, uh, yeah, how can I explain this in English? Perhaps you will uh, see what it is <laughs> when it's finished. So, uh, yeah, it's some kind of loading bar. So uh, when you perhaps um, have your computer and you install a new program or an app or something like that, then this little sign says that you have to wait because the program is loading. So, yeah, don't know how is this called. Uh, perhaps you can leave a comment how this is called, <laughs> if it has a name. And I wanted to imitate this here on my page. Because, yeah, of course, when you um, make a new craft room, then you have to wait. You have to be patient. You have to um, organize many things. So uh, I ordered some shelves and that stuff uh, in the online store of IKEA. And, of course, I have to build this up all by myself. And, um, yeah, I'm a lucky girl that my hubby will help me. But it's a lot of work. And um, of course, even if you do your best and you are not slow with your working, you have to wait until this whole thing is finished. So I thought it would be funny to have this uh, little thing here that says yeah, that it is in work, but that you have to wait. To draw this, I use this memento pen. So that's... Um, pen that has two tips on the one side it's some kind of brush pen and on the other side it's a fine liner and I expected that it would be no problem to write and to draw here but I had a little bit of mud medium um, on the in the area where I'm drawing this and this pen didn't work really well on this mud medium so I will show you that in detail in a second um, but I went on even if I knew that uh, I have to go over it with another pen because that looks really really weird I don't know why that happened because normally those memento uh, ink pads they work really well on yeah, nearly any surface. So I think it would be no problem to stamp with the Memento stamp pad, uh, ink pad, sorry, um, on matte medium. But with this pen, it was really strange. And as you can see, it stopped writing in the meantime, so that I had to scribble around on this leftover book page to bring it back to life and uh, to bring it back to work. Also, so that was really really strange but yeah I went on with my writing because yeah I had no other chance so I wrote please wait so that it's a little bit more obviously this loading bar thing and then I decided that I want to go over it with this black pen so here I show you this little fail as you can see that looked some kind of distressed or something like that. Uh, yeah, normally a nice effect, but in this case I didn't like it. So I went over it with this calligraphy pen that was not so easy, but that was the only black pen that I had at hand that I could expect that it would um, cover this up. So the tip of this pen is a little bit, uh, yeah, how is that called? I don't know. So, you know, it's it's a little bit wider on the other side and a little bit uh, thinner on the other side because it's meant to make some hand lettering and not this kind of stuff what I'm trying here. But it worked really well. I had to be a little bit careful, but it worked. So I went over this thing and um, yeah, I was really happy that it covered up this green. And I also went over this two words please wait even if I yeah am not so happy that this writing is now really thick but um, I wanted it to have it um, some kind of clear and not this distressed look yeah and <laughs> this also was some kind of therapy for myself 
because I don't like my handwriting. And for those pages, for this front pages of each signature, so this monthly signatures, uh, yeah, I'm trying to do some hand lettering as well and uh, trying to get into an harmony with myself and I try to, yeah, <laughs> I think you have understand what I mean. I don't like my handwriting, but I have to do it to get a better feeling with it. So that's what I wanted to say. Um, and yeah, that was it. So I glued this to the page here with matte medium as well. As I said, um, it's a really good thing to um, glue things flat and durable. So that was the right medium here for me. And also a little some kind of happy accident is this uh, turquoise washi tape on the left side. Um, that now fits really well to the jelly print in the background. Um, that was, yeah, as I said, a happy accident. I haven't thought about this uh, turquoise washi tape when I created this page, but now it is here and <laughs> I think it looks really nice. So I hope you like this idea and um, I hope you uh, have got some inspirations. So please leave a comment what you think about it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to this, cha this, this channel, <laughs> sorry, please subscribe if you want to see more junk journal related videos. And yeah, I wish you a really great time. See you the next time. Bye bye.